What about the masters, though, generally? I mean, when you look back at them again and reassess, and reassess them, were they any use to you at all? I mean, what kind of men were they? Well, some were very good, although I'm surprised now. I mean, I think that I learn much more every day now than I did at that time. I think, personally, that schools are there to teach you to learn. And in that sense, uh, I think it wasn't very good at the time. I mean, there was so uh, the headmaster, for instance. He was a clergyman with an absolutely sickening smile. It was the largest smile, and there was a cathedral in his mouth. <laughs> and all the laughed in stained glass windows and everything. And he revealed that a photograph of a woman in a one-piece bathing costume had been found holding a beach ball. <laughs> I will get to the bottom of this filth. <laughs> will any boy own up? Silence, of course. Very well, he said. When I find the culprit, as find him I will. <laughs> I shall beat him. And then as an afterthought, I am in the need of exercise. <laughs> you mentioned about the headmaster discovering what must have been, I mean, by modern taste, a very sort of ordinary titbits uh, pin-up, you know, the beach ball, as you say. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but um, did you, was there any such thing as sex education at school like that? No, there was none at all, and I was left totally in the dark. I, but uh, things were perhaps a little more evolved as my old friend, uh, a man called Sir Clifford Norton, who was a wonderful man, uh, told me what it was like in rugby uh, around about 1910 when the headmaster decided that the time had come for certain boys to be instructed in these delicate matters and said, are we all here? Is Armstrong here? Oh, yes, there you are. You're so small. Come forward, Armstrong. Uh, <laughs> Bailey, shut the door. Is your brother? Uh, your brother? Yes, that's right. Right, shut the door. Are you all here? Very well. Now look here. If you touch it, it will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> right, return to your dormitories. <laughs> and they left equipped now for life.